Ah, oh, this rod is like a broomstick. Coming right to you. Yes, he is. Whew, he's still he's towing us. 50, I mean, 60 yards out there. Here, my friend. Well, welcome back, folks. Still got the big lemon shark on the end of the rod. Hopefully going to show this thing to you. It's a big old fish. If it ever quit running. Uh, well, when you ain't got a polling platform, you can always stand on your angle. This gets you up just as high as you need to be. Use that trolling motor at low, steady speed is the key, as yeah. you know, I'm sure, in the red fishing days. Oh yeah, them red fishing days, right? people tell me, you can't get on redfish with a trolling motor. I'm telling you, you can't get on bonefish with them either. You know what, if you handle that thing properly, you can get on just about anything. Oh, the I nice agree. thing is we can cover some ground instead of slowly pulling. I mean, we can cover a little ground with that trolling motor. We both get to have a rod in our hand and fish. Well, there she is. Oh, what a gorgeous flip. Man, I swear to God, it looks like somebody just turns a light on when the sun comes out here, don't just it? Just beautiful, crystal clear, crystal clear. These sharks love to move up here at high tide, swim around in the shallows. <clears throat> As the tide falls, they fall off the outside edge. <clears throat> oh, she ain't liking that, Give is she? Give me a run for your money there. Turn to the right. There she <laughs> Little technique I use for wearing down big fish is you'll see me grab the line and everything with my hand right here. And uh, just as long as she don't kick real hard like that, you always let go because that, that braid will cut right into your hands. So you're adding maximum pressure to them by putting a little, putting your hand on the lines. Yep, just a little bit extra. Pulling back on the rod and reeling down and gaining some line. But like you said, the important aspect is when the fish surges, let go with your hand because that braid will cut you. <laughs> Not only that, but you could exceed the, uh, the limit of the braid or the leader and pop it off. You want to let that drag do its work. Yeah, I'd say that's one of the biggest lemon sharks I've ever got right there. We used to pull them off the beach. Oh, a little bit smaller than this. Lemons and bulls and sell them. Well, you're more than welcome to go swimming here if you like. Not for some plenty. <laughs> I'll hold that rod for you. Oh, I'd do, it. I'd do it if I was 18 again. <laughs> do a lot of things if you were 18 again. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. So what we got here, we got 65 pound Smackdown. I think we got 80 pound liter. And what size is that uh, wire you got on there? It's 86 pound wire, haywire twisted to the hook and the swivel, 150 pound swivel. And that way you can apply maximum pressure to that fish. And I'm using the new FG knot. If y'all haven't seen that knot, you can go check it out online. It is one of the most awesome knots I've ever used. All right. That is a big shark, you got her? That is a beauty, Blair. I'm gonna come down here and grab her tail. You got her? I got her, for now. <laughs> I hope my bail just in Yeah, case. just in case, because she surges. Whew. Yes, sir. That, what do you think? 200? That's a hunk of meat. <laughs> that's I'm a, not holding on that wire leader without gloves oh, on. I understand it. I got a pair of cigar gloves in the top of my box. Do you? Yeah. Get this guy up and show you what he looks like. I love sharks, man. We came down here originally to try to do some tarpon fishing, but I haven't seen but just a couple of tarpon. And I like big fish to pull on my line. And there ain't nothing that pulls better than a shark. I mean, look at the size of that thing. Good there? I'm good for right, now. Mail's open. Uh, come here, big woo, woo. How about that, Blair? What do you think? That's a beauty. I'm going to say every bit of 150, maybe yeah. 200. Nice fish. What a beauty. Two, two and a half feet of water. Absolute ball. 
D hook is right by my right knee. Oh, you want me to get my hand down there, huh? <laughs> you got that? Off there she, she goes. goes. There she goes. Awesome fish, brother. It don't get much better than that, does it? Oh, that was beautiful. That was Woo. crystal clear water. Crystal sight clear. fishing sharks. Unbelievable. Y'all ever get a chance to do this, make sure you go to the website and book a charter with Captain Lane Goodwin. He will definitely put you on the fish. I'm wore out. What do you say we go back <laughs> up the front of flat? Make another run down the edge? That sounds good to me. You Let's can't, do it. I don't think you can wear me out. Let's <laughs> do it. Catching fish anyway. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more Dick Fishing, Captain Lane Goodwin. <laughs>